Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I got the body ready to clear. So I did some gray around the windows. I blacked the rubber around the windows with the uh, trim around the front and rear. And then I did the, the silver, it's just silver Sharpie. I'm like, I tried, you know, I was going to tape it off. I'm like, ah, shoot, let me try a Sharpie. So it turned out pretty decent. I can't wait to see what it looks like when I get the, uh, get the clear on it. So I'm going to mix up some, uh, some clear and spray this and let's get this video started and try to wrap this thing up i don't know surely i could do it in this last um last uh part three if i um don't waste too much time blabbing so let's get to it i'm, I'm about to mix the paint and uh, shoot some clear stand by Well, there has a lot happened since the last segment where I just was putting the clear coat on it, uh, which turned out amazing. Um, it just turned out way better than I would have ever, not expect. I expected it to turn out good. I always expect it to turn out good, but it doesn't mean it does. But I have, um, so I have got the windows in. Um, they're full windows. I didn't realize that, but they're like full windows. So it doesn't have like a rolled down window. I could have cut one out, but I'm like, nah, it'd be okay. Um, I do have the front grill in, although the headlights, that are, the covers for the headlights are right here. They're not in yet. The taillights are in the incubator. I had had them in there yesterday. I had to put the red centers in them for the taillights. Got those in there. But I'm thrilled with the finish. Got the uh, the interior. I really, man, I love it. It's so much fun. But um, I put a few hoses with the little fittings. I've got some little beads that kind of look like those. I forget what those fittings are called. The blue, the blue and red fittings. But got a few fittings put on it. A few. I use this uh, rubber uh, hose, little bead. I don't know, Hobby Lobby stuff. Um, yeah, it's so cool. Looks great. It's right hand drive, which is okay. And uh, the interior, the metal, I think looks really cool. Got the dash in. Um, two, it came with, um, see the control box, that black control box right in front of the gift shifter. It came with two of those and it came with two MSD looking boxes. So I just decided, you know, sometimes race cars will have uh, double up on stuff. So I got the other uh, ignition box down the floorboard. So He's got two in case one fails. They do have that in like NASCAR and stuff, or at least they used to. I don't watch NASCAR anymore. It became a little bit too commercialized for my taste. Uh, the roll cage is ready to be put in as soon as I get the seat belts in it. So the seat um, on this, uh, see the seat, how it's like red and got a black back um, that's what I was going for and uh, I think that looks pretty darn close to be honest with you the interior see the interior here without the seat and I don't have that red gas can I don't know what the heck that is you see the interior there and you see the interior there <laughs> isn't that cool anyway um, so the seat yeah that's what I was talking about so the back is black the front I taped off the sides, sprayed the uh, sprayed the front, and then dull coated it. Give it somewhat of a 
maybe a material look, but I'm going to do my seat belts that I've never done. Charlie at ProTech sent me those that racing harness set, and I'm about to try to tackle that. Um, Got to get the seat in there before I can put the roll cage, before I can put the body. Oh, oh, oh for, almost forgot. Got the uh, got the chassis. Well, ain't much to it. I got it put together. I did do a um, sanding on the front wheels in my drill to give them that road worn appearance. But it's gonna. It's got that posable front steering. There's nothing to the chassis. I'm not even going to paint the engine. I mean, really? So it's just going to, it's not going to be needed to turn, be turned over. Um, but I, again, thrilled, looking great. And let me get busy on these um, tail lights, headlights, seat belts, and then put it together. I think that's it. Stand by. All right, well, I've got my seat in. I got the seat belts uh, installed. Maybe you can see them better. I did them like he just jumped out of the car. And they're over to the side. They're thrown over to the side. They're pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. First time, first time I've ever used any, any seat belts um, at all got the roll cage in so I can still up right there got the roll cage in and it's just looking great I'm really excited about this one um, I like the way the seat belts look like you just tossed them over but anyway so the body's done headlights are in tail lights are in and it's done all I've got to do is put the interior in and put it onto the chassis. And I'm done. So let me get that and uh, we will see a finished model in just a second. All right. Well, here it is all finished up and I think it looks great. Um, first Aoshima or Aoshima or however you say it kit that I've ever built. Um, they're pretty cool. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, curbside kit. Um, but the interior really makes up for the, for the detail. This, this is just, it was a lot of fun. You can't really even see the roll cage. I guess you can, if you get down in there, you can kind of see it. You can see it better in person. You can see the part of it right there in the back quarter window. Yeah, this thing turned out really nice. Um. I'm proud of, proud of the paint job, the MCW paint, the MCW red paint. I forget what color red it was. I've got, I think it's this bright red, and I think I added some black. I don't even remember now. I guess if I go back and watch my own videos, I'd remember what color I had. I tried to tone down a bright red. I also did not black uh, two-tone it like that one is. I just uh, went with the solid red, which I like. I think it looks cool. Um... Yeah, it just turned out nice. I did black washing down in these grills and on here before I cleared it. Um, the silver around the windows, like on that one, that is just Sharpie with a 2K clear over top of it and Sharpie around the uh, front and rear window as well. The black is just Sharpie with a clear over it. The decals, obviously, I cleared over. The rims are... A Tamiya, is this it right here? T titanium gold is what I just brushed it on there. So when I brushed it on, it you know some of some of the little bitty holes in the rims would get clogged up, and I would just take my airbrush and blow air through it to blow the holes back open. Um, yeah, I think it just turned out really cool. What a cool car! Skylines have always been a cool car to me, anyway. But I've never done a fat fendered road racer such as this super silhouette Skyline. Um, again, I don't even know what year model it is. I guess it's somewhere between 81 and 85. On that box there, it says 81.8 to 85.8. I don't know what that means. But I think it turned out nice. Going to have some great pictures of this thing. Um, 
after the video here but the interior I think it turned out great I did some little hoses and stuff I'm getting a little bit more adventurous with uh see the uh, seat belts how they're laid out on I think that turned out just cool I wanted them in more of a natural state like he threw them off right before he got out of the car instead of them being perfect down in the seat so to do that I just wanted them to to be a natural free-flowing uh, state so that's how I did it again thanks for, to Charlie over at Protect for sending me those uh, that seat belt kit uh, wasn't hard at all to do it's just so darn tiny holy cow never really done any photo etch stuff but it is a uh, super tiny and you had better be careful because they'll stick to your hands if you get them cut off anyway enough talk guys thanks for watching this video oh and the bottom side is just uh just black i didn't do any detailing under the bottom i did paint the chassis but that's it because it's there's no detail under there anyway why pick it up and look at it uh, all the detailings on the top and on the inside of the car so guys again thank you for watching this video don't forget as always to head over to hobby nut models and check out Mark's great line of MCW paints. I can't wait. As we speak right now, I've got a shipment on the way. I I love MCW paint, and there's so many colors. Can't afford to buy them all at one time, so you have to kind of space it out. But anyway, um, great paint. Um, this does have clear on it. This is not just the enamel. But I can promise you, you can get a shine as shiny as that with just the paint because i have one to prove it you see that red car out there that red that uh, mercedes that is there's no there's no clear on that that's just the enamel paint super shiny you can do it i've got several more i could show you um the mercedes turned out just the best but anyway this has got a high gloss because of clear also um, because i wanted to clear over my decals but again guys thanks for watching go check out hobby nut models grab a kit grab some paint Grab some of this Mr. Leveling Thinner. That's like a game changer. Anyway, uh, Facebook group. Model Car Videos Facebook group. Thanks to Chris Callen, Troy Roberts, for helping me over there um, with that group. Um, guys, go over, join, show us pictures of your builds. There's tons of people that contribute to that uh, Facebook group. It's awesome. And uh, if you have a question about anything, I encourage you, if you're, if you're new to the hobby, if you say, what glue do I need? What do I need for this, this, this? Join the Facebook group. Drop that question in a comment or in a, uh, in a post. You will get the answers you need. I promise you. Um, Spring Store, thank you to everyone who buys t-shirts, who buys coffee mugs, who's going to buy hoodies because it's going to start to get, you know, we're, we're reaching, going into fall. Um, and stickers and all those things. I appreciate your, your support in that way. And my Patreon members, thank you so much, guys. You're the best. And uh, everyone who sends me things via my mail, it's always located in the description of my videos, my mailing address. So if you ever want to drop me something, um, the address is right there. I appreciate all your support. And hey, we're going to have a cool slideshow of pictures of this beautiful skyline just as soon as I cut this video. So you guys take care, and we will see you on the next video. See you guys. Bye.